Hello, everybody. Guess what? This is Thursday, so it's time for Thursday Thoughts with Merle and Patty. And look who's here. I Merle see and Patty. Patty. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> and How is everybody today, wherever you are in this uh, crazy changing tower world? We're still here. Yay. You're still here if you're watching. <laughs> Thank you for tuning in. This, of course, is Thursday Thoughts with Merle and Matt, Patty, formerly known as Monday Morning with Merle and Patty. But you just can't say that when you meet on Thursday. That's yeah. true. That's and that's, uh, that's probably why we changed it. That um, is probably why. Work. We are so clever. We are clever. No wonder we work with people and we coach people and we know everything in the world. <laughs> um, so our no, topic we, is... Okay. Should parents involve themselves in their adult children's relationships? Okay, that's a good question. Now you're going to be more of an expert on this because I do not have children. Um, I guess I have an adult stepchild, but she was such an adult when we met. It, it, we've never had that relationship. So again, you you do have adult children. My first thought, if there is a resounding no, <laughs> just big fat no. Um, my parents didn't do that to me, even when I made wrong choices of, of husbands and everything else along the way. I knew they were there to support me, whatever. They were there to pick me up when I fell down. Um, so again, not coming from a parental view, that, that worked for me, let me create my own life, um, be there for me. Unless I suppose if, if you see that your kids are getting into like heroin abuse or hanging out with, you know, weird things, maybe if it's a life or a death or their health or sanity issue, maybe, yeah, like, hey, there's an intervention due. But I don't know. What do you do? How do you think? I think that uh, it's very hard. You know how, you know how difficult it is to be a, a kid a grown a grown adult with parents and having to deal with them it's that difficult to be a parent and have <laughs> adult kids because uh when when they're making all the right decisions and you who you who that's wonderful you can just kind of be at the sidelines and 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 uh, encourage them to keep going but when you see something you have to, it's very difficult to say, well, is this just a difference? I mean, there are different lifestyles than me. And uh, is, uh, it, do I have a child embarking? Because it's still my child, even though he or she, I have both, are adults. Uh, what do you do? Okay, I'll give you an example, actually. Okay, we love stories. I didn't, I didn't think about it till just now. So I am a parent of three children. I have two stepchildren and one child by birth. Uh, my stepchildren came to live with us when Ruthie was uh, well, she was 14 and Joseph was nine. And um, we always had a great relationship. Uh, I have a feeling about children that children are basically good. If they're giving you a hard time, then you have to look to see what's wrong in their world. Because children, if they're happy and things are going well, they don't give anybody a hard time. They're just happy. So, so, so I approach it from that point of view. Uh, <clears throat> and I had great relationships with my stepchildren. Uh, and <laughs> well, okay, that's a different story. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, uh, Ruthie was the oldest. She had a boyfriend. Uh, so, um, and she went to visit him. We were on the East Coast. He was in the service on the West Coast. She went to visit him. And then uh, I, I said, fine, but you know, if you're gonna live with him, maybe you're a little young. She was like about 18. Uh, maybe she was 19, I'm not sure. 
And uh, so you don't have to marry him right away, you know? So she married him. So I said- <laughs> Never listen to your mother. <laughs> because I hadn't learned to shut up yet. <laughs> so I said, well, at least don't have any kids right away. And that was when George was born. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I said, well, Rue, you know, maybe you should just stick with one for a while to get used to it. And that's when Amanda was born. <laughs> so I, I had a talk with her. I said, Ruthie, this is it. <laughs> I have no advice to give you. I wish you luck in your life. May you do all the right things and be the happiest you can be. And that's the last time I gave her advice. <laughs> She's not <laughs> any kids anyway. <laughs> and oh, that's so th that's, you know, you just can't give, it's really, if you could give people advice and they would listen to you. And if you could give people advice and you, you would know that what you're, the advice you're giving is right. Because lots of times we give advice to people and they don't take it and, then, and we realize, oh, it's a good thing they didn't take my advice. So it's, it, yeah, so the answer, I mean, the quick short answer is unless they're being abused, unless they're into some kind of drugs, and I, I, I really, and sometimes I think with drugs, I don't think you should be bailing them out. I think if they know that there's a, a safe place to, to land, that, that they're just going to keep doing that until, so there's a place for, there's a place for tough, tough love. There is a place for just, I'm here, I support you, love. And there's a very small place for, <laughs> Well, can I give you my advice? That's a very small place for that. <laughs> uh, yeah. And, and it, it, it's hard. Yeah. Well, it's interesting. Again, I look at it from the outside, but I have so many friends or I work with clients all the time and talk about their relationships. So many, the people who have seemingly the worst relationships with their parents when I'm not, I don't talk to my mom anymore. I don't talk to my parents anymore. Are the people who their parents tried to control them too much. Yes. And then they take it, they see it as a, they're not good enough or they can't live up to their parents. And it becomes this versus just let me live my own life. So they have to cut it off. And I would hate to be cut off from my child just because they weren't doing what I said. But that's the biggest cutoff of relationships are people whose parents were too involved. So that's the, the difference. You just made the difference between advice and control. Ah. And sometimes the parent, so if, if you've got a good relationship that you, they both know it's a matter of, I used to ask my mother, <laughs> I would ask my mother advice and she would say, you know, you always ask for my advice and you never, ever listen. <laughs> 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 which was true. I just wanted to hear her perspective because she had a whole different way of looking at life than I did. So I just want to make sure I wasn't missing anything. Yeah. <laughs> and um, yes, yeah, so, so I, I think it's very important to not control. Yeah. I think it's very important to see Here's again, we're listening, listening, listening. See how your children, your grown children, your adults are listening to you, how they're responding to you. And if they're, and if they're pulling away, maybe you want to just shut up. Yeah. And again, especially if, because so much advice is one thing and, and judgment is another too. That's what seems to be. You don't know what you're doing. You pick all the wrong guys. You da, 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 da. There's a way to do it without all that judgment, but there's a lot of judgment there often. Yeah. No, 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 no. That's not advice. That's judgment. And, and <laughs> that's Disguise. not advice. 
Okay, That's well. not nice. I don't, you, you, okay. So I think sometimes parents uh, continue to do how it, how it was done to them, but I think it's important as parents to put themselves in, in, I mean, how do they feel when their parents acted like that? I, I, I have to say, uh, my mother did a lot of wrong things, but she did learn to shut up. <laughs> it, it, it was a gift. It was one of her great characteristics. And oh, I was, this is, a, here's a clue too. My, Nathan loved my mother and I loved his mother. They, and each of them were, they were so totally different, but they each respected uh, their children's partners and they each respected us in a way that uh, they supported us. Uh, when we bought a house, they were there to help us out whatever little bit they could do. And, um, I think that and they, <laughs> they, Live supported, video. they were supportive and uh, again it's it's they knew their place and their place was to be listen to listen and be supportive so there's the answer the answer is unless unless your children are in imminent danger you don't want to let your child die uh, uh, other than that, they have to, they have to find their own. We all, it's, we each have our own life. We each have our own trajectory. And, and just, I want my own trajectory and how I go from the rest of my life. So my kids want the same thing. And everybody else is too. I agree wholeheartedly. It's just and if almost, anybody else, so, so I can't see other people's comments. Oh, is it eleven eleven? Is it eleven yes. eleven? Yes, yes, eleven. Right. Do it, do All it. Right. Okay, I don't see it, comments. But I don't see comments either. That's what I was going to say because we're kind of doing this via Zoom, so we can't. If people are watching, we're going to Thursday. Night. Yeah. Hi, Lauren. Um, oh, hey, Lauren. Ah. Um, so Hello, it's eleven eleven or. Close to 11 11. So, everybody, why don't we just? It's a make a wish hour. It's the angel hour. Do it's it. magic hour. Um, do you have a thought on what we should wish for today? I think we should uh, uh, wish for the wisdom to know when to intervene and when to shut up. Okay. And again, it doesn't always have to be if you're a parent and you have an adult child, it could be talking to your, your a significant other, to your roommate, you know, to to your, your child who isn't an adult yet, so. Yes, yes, relationships. All relationships. Re However so. you learn a relationship with one person, you can use those skills for everyone else in your life. Okay. My cat never listens anyway. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everybody take a deep breath in. Hi, Sandra. Hold it, exhale. One more in, and think about some of the the relationships around you, the important relationships around you, and think about when people give you advice, how you take it, what you do hear and expect, accept, and the ones that, that maybe don't hit you as right. Think of how you do it with other people. Think of maybe just a moment of a way that it could have been done better in either direction. Ask for guidance. Ask for wisdom of whoever in you believe in that would give you such stuff, the universe, God, the great consciousness, your inner self. Another deep breath. Communication is everything. Exhale. One more deep breath, just to bring peace, just because we're still in crazy times. Again, everybody has opinions now, everything is going on, everything is heightened. So just put everything with a little dollop of love right on top and a phone ring a dollar of love and a phone ring right on top big breath exhale 
All right. So when you open your eyes, a little more centered, a little more focused, a little more happy. So uh, b before we close, uh, it, I, I thought of something that I learned from Toastmasters. Uh, uh, Toastmasters is an, uh, an international communication and leadership organization. You can look them up, Toastmasters International. And um, so one of the things that uh, uh, meetings consists of off the cuff comments, prepared speeches, and evaluation of the speeches. And this is how they teach you to evaluate speeches. Because I think of it when you were talking about different people besides your children, who else that you need to have a, a, a good way to communicate things, advice that you want to give or whatever else. <laughs> of course, I thought about my partner. <laughs> and sometimes if he's not listening, uh, <laughs> I kind of feel like I'm dealing with an adolescent. And so I need to be really careful about how I say things. And I, it came to me that I, one of the wonderful things I learned about Toastmasters was not for my public speaking, but was for my relationship with my husband. Because when you evaluate uh, um, a speech, there is a specific thing that you follow. You first say, uh, review, the goals of your speech were to do thus and so. And this is how you, you accomplished it by doing this, this, and this. There, uh, um, there are some things that you could do that would improve it more, that uh, would make it e even more fabulous. You could do this and this. Never more than two things to improve. People can't think of more than two, can't work on more than two things at a time. And, and then sum it up with, this is uh, uh, this is what you wanted to do. This is how you this is how you accomplished it, and this is how you can move it to the next level. That's beautiful. Yeah. So positive reinforcement, positive suggestions, and non-judgmental versus it. you sucked. That's it. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> that never works. I tried it so many times. So many times. You don't know what you're talking about. You suck. Ah, well, we wish everybody a beautiful week. I am Patty Negri. This is Merle Singer. Um, please go to our websites, pattynegri.com, relationshipmiracleworker.com, books that we have books, written. Fire books, Amazon. Yes, um, yes. Instagram, one. Twitter, LinkedIn, Facebook, blah, 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 blah. Like us, follow us. Uh, if you don't like us, tell us why. If you do like us, tell your friends. <laughs> and tell us too. We want to know. <laughs> oh, yeah. Tell us the good stuff too. Okay. <laughs> it's because we're so sophisticated. <laughs> elegant. <laughs> elegant. Hey, we're pretty elegant today. I, we have our moments. We're okay today. <laughs> Thank you guys for listening. Come back at 12 o'clock oh. for Mouse Pearls. And uh, I'm going to have a great topic for you. And it's, ah, uh, yeah, you're 75% 75, 75 more likely to get divorced if a friend or close relative has already done the deed. Did you realize that? It's, I've talked about it before. It's who you hang out with. They really have an influence on your life. Anyway. That's for noontime. Come back then. And otherwise, we'll see you next week. Have a wonderful week, everybody. Thank you, everybody. Bye.